Hello Sagittarius, this is your mid-July 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Sagittarius individuals. I needed to get this out. I know mid-July is coming up awfully quick. It's a five card spread and it's for Sagittarius. Mid-July 2018. Sagittarius, mid-July 2018. Sagittarius, mid-July 2018. The ball's been going well. I want to get this straight out. I'm going to do that again. I need to do that again. See what the card's got in store for us for mid-July. See the beginning energy. Strength, regaining strength. Courage, able to move on sometimes. Take on more, more, more things in your life where before it may have made you exhausted. Now you feel like you have strength, possibly. Let's find out what happened in the past. Abundance. Three of Cups in reverse. Something didn't take off with somebody. Maybe you didn't, you weren't unable to celebrate something, have dinner with somebody, um, sit down and have coffee. Three of Cups in reverse. Why are you there? For Sagittarius, mid-July 2018. An offer wasn't made in the past. You got the Ace of Disc in reverse with the Three of Cups in reverse. So something didn't come about. Maybe you were supposed to have a get-together. Like I said, it could be family, friends, work. The offer wasn't made. You didn't, you didn't go out. You didn't have fun. You didn't celebrate. You didn't have a business meeting, whatever it is. Give me another card for the Three of Cups. And the Ace of Discs in reverse. A decision could have been a, a judgment. Adjustment. This is an adjustment card. There was no adjustment made. You were trying to make things work. You were trying to... How can I put this? You made a decision to go with something and it just didn't work out. Or maybe someone tried to make a decision to go with you and you decided not to do it. This is like a justice type judgment. I know a lot of people, I get those, I intertwine them a little bit and I shouldn't. But they seem to go hand in hand many times. But something just didn't take off. Let me put it that way. Obstacle. Let's get on with it. Obstacle. What is the obstacle? Five of Pentacles, feeling abandoned. Maybe you're trying to come out of feeling abandoned. Maybe someone else is feeling ab abandoned with you. Five of Pentacles, why are you there? Five of Pentacles, I hope I said what I said, not cups. Five of Pentacles. It's worry. Could be that you worry too much. Could have to do with the Princess of Wands. This could be your energy also. The Princess of Wands is a fire type energy. It could be an Aries and Leo also. Not just Sagittarius, but someone's worried, and I'm thinking it's you. Your obstacle is you worry too much. You're feeling kind of left out, abandoned maybe. I need another card for the Princess of Wands and the Five of Pentacles for the obstacle. Four of Cups. Maybe someone didn't accept the offer, or maybe you're afraid something passed you by. Four of Cups is about someone offering something and you don't like it when it's in the upright. It's in reverse, so something, you could have missed something, something could have passed you by that you wanted. Maybe you, some of you might have missed the opportunity or you're afraid you're going to miss an opportunity. That could be it also. Current environment, mid-July 2018 for Sagittarius. Prince of Wands, that could be your energy again. It is a fire energy or someone taking on that energy. It is in reverse in the current environment. You're not feeling 100%. You're a little put out. It could have to do with that worry and something didn't come through. And that's got you turned around, probably in a little bit of a bad mood. Sometimes you may snap at people a little. Could also be coming towards you. Could be an Aries. Could be a Leo. 
but it could be your energy, like I said. Prince of Wands, why are you there? Why are you there in reverse? For Sag, for Sagittarius. No new beginning. You didn't have a new beginning with something. It's the full card reverse. It's about new beginnings, taking on something, jumping into something without thinking sometimes. It's in reverse. It could also be that you're not that you're not going to be jumping into anything because you're feeling pretty turned around. You're just not going to jump into anything at all. But for some of you, it's you're, something new did not begin. Maybe you were like, and I'm feeling that for a lot of you because you got these other past cards, these obstacles of worry, feeling left out, missing an opportunity possibly, didn't go working out the way you wouldn't, no new offer there. This is currently, I'm hoping I'll get a little bit better here. Give me another uh, card for the Prince of Wands and the Fool card. Ooh, that wants to come out. You want to come out of cruelty, but I see these all three basically turned around cards. So I'm going to say you're kind of stuck in your head. When I get it, like, with another two negative cards, I call them negative because they are turned around. And there is, and it, it's turned around. It's reversed. That means you're stuck. If you had a positive card next to it, I'd say you're coming out of it, but you don't have one there. Now, I want to see what's coming towards you, and hopefully the outcome is better. What is coming towards Sagittarius in mid-July <clears throat> 2018? What is coming towards Sagittarius? Tower situation, but it's in reverse. You may avoid a tower situation, or someone is avoiding it with you, or something that's outside your realm or outside of you. Your comfort zone you, you might have missed a tower situation a tower situation is when something unexpected happens that kind of leaves your world a little you know changed a little you know kind of rocks your world but it's it's, it's reverse but I have to find it I gotta get another card to, to see for sure it could be that you still get the tower situation let's see if we get another, another other card we can clarify the tower card why are you there coming towards Sagittarius I'm thinking you're avoiding the tower situation. What a lucky situation for you because you got success there. You avoided a tower situation and it's coming towards you. You'll know what it is. Maybe you avoided an accident, avoided a complicated situation that's coming towards you. Looks like it's successful. Could be what other people are thinking of you also that you avoided a certain situation. Give me another card for the tower card and the success card which is upright, the success card is. Give me another card for Sagittarius. Yeah, you took control of the situation or, or whatever. I'm thinking that's what people are thinking of you, a lot of you. People may be thinking, a lot of people may be thinking this of you, that you avoided a tower situation, whatever it was. They thought maybe it's a good thing something didn't work out for you. Well, a lot, well, some of you. Others, that you may avoid a tower situation that was headed towards you. The outcome. What is the outcome for Sagittarius? Three of Pentacles. It's not going to work out whatever this situation is. You may want to go on with something new or start something new. Get turned turned back around, Sagittarius, because you got the Three of Pentacles. It's in reverse. So something definitely did not work out. And it's not going to work out in July. Let's find out why. Three of Pentacles, why are you there? Because you found out something that was not, co you know, 100% 100 truthful. Something was under the radar. I'm thinking you're going to find out about it. Or some, may, some, some people may think this of you. But I'm thinking you avoided, you know, it's a blessing in disguise, as they say. Definitely. And you may think it's a terrible thing. But I think you avoided a tower situation. Now, if you're not thinking it, it, it was a good thing for you, but it may very well have been a blessing in disguise that you did not get what you want at this particular time. Could involve the Queen of Cups. That could be a water sign or someone taking on that energy. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But like I said, something's not collaborating, at least in July. I think this is a pretty quick energy. I think it's not going to last too long. It may go into the first week or two of August, but then something else is going to change around because we got Mercury in retrograde. It's going to shake things up again. Things are not going to last. This is going to occur in Mercury in retrograde. It's going to shake things up. 
And like I said, it is not going to last. You got the King of Cups. Someone may be offering you something later on as the out, the overall ending energy is sort of like an outcome. So I'm thinking you got a blessing in disguise. Something may come along later as the Knight of Cups. Someone may have something else for you and you're just not seeing it. And you have a lot to, oh, it could be also you're going to take on this energy, even though you are a fire sign. You may take on the energy of the Knight of Cups and offer, make an offer elsewhere. But this is a good card. The Knight of Cups always brings positive things. And the overall energy, something positive did occur, even though you think a disaster happened. Like I said, blessing in disguise. That is your reading, Sagittarius. I'll put this out as soon as I can. Bye.